Today I have the pleasure of speaking with Robert Vallis from Signature Resources. How are you today? I'm good, Tracy. How are you? I'll tell you, at Investor Intel, we do have quite a following for Signature Resources. We've been following this story for three years, and we were absolutely delighted to see someone with your background join as CEO. And for anyone out there who may not be familiar with a background, of course, you've been an executive at companies like Yamana and Barrick. So how does a gentleman like yourself, because that's the number one question we would like the answer to, uh, decide to become the CEO of a small cap like Signature Resources? Uh, it's, it's highly selective, Tracy. In short, uh, it's the project's rear value potential that attracted me, and specifically, it's the people and the asset. Uh, Signature has like-minded, disciplined, and highly motivated uh, industry vets. Uh, the project has rare qualities, not uh, readily found, uh, hosting all what I call the right DNA. So it, we have a high-grade historic resource of nearly 234,000 ounces. Uh, the right type of geology, conducive of rapid resource expansion, a large land package, nearly 30 kilometers in strike, uh, the right address, certainly in Ontario's prolific Red Lake District, and certainly we have a plethora of geologic data that's been gained along the way to, to advance us further. All right, so I'm going to back you up. Because uh, people are going to ask me about the answer to that last question. And there's a lot of exploration plays out there. There's a lot of small caps. If you decided you wanted to become a small cap CEO that you could have joined. Now, there are people out there, a lot of new millennials who are going, okay, you know, our esports aren't making us the kind of money we, we would like. We're going to spend a little time investing in gold. Why would they select Signature over another small cap gold company, please? I uh, think Signature has many attributes that uh, itself is competitive in my view. You know, we have in this project demonstrated ounce potential. There, as I already mentioned, there's a historic resource of 234,000 ounces, but that's within the first 180 meters from surface depth. And this deposit is open certainly in all directions. It's high grade that uh, has excellent potential for us to develop a high grade resource as evidenced through the many drill intercepts we already have. And, and also as mentioned, the high ounce per vertical meter potential straight from surface. Uh, this 234,000 ounce resource um, is quite shallow. And when that's benchmarked to other Red Lake deposits uh, with resources defined to depths of over two kilometers, uh, Lingman Lake presents excellent resource growth potential. So we're excited about that. Of course, many gold investors out there like Langman Lake, yes, we know the area, love it. Okay, but for someone who may be new to looking at gold, can you tell them why this was so intriguing to you? Or maybe why, you know, you and, let me add, there's a new chairman. Uh, we just uh, recently had you appointed new advisor as well. Uh, perhaps you can answer both of those questions now for us. Certainly. Um, well, number one, uh, I'm extremely happy and pleased, obviously, with my appointment and that of Mr. Lestritos, uh, our chair. Uh, we were both attracted to the asset quality, the location, and the existing team, as I already outlined. Uh, Paulo and I bring a wealth of knowledge and experience uh, from opposite ends of the industry, and we both complement each other quite well. Uh, so obviously, we're aiming to, to rapidly and safely grow uh, this project and deliver shareholder value. Uh, to enhance that, to augment it, uh, we're focused also on adding to and improving our existing advisory board, as you've just noted uh, and has been put out through a press release. Uh, we've added Dan Denbau, a uh, very notable uh, financial individual, to our, um, to our advisory board. Uh, so we're excited about that and having that perspective. Um, we're looking forward to adding others uh, in succession in, in, uh, in the near future. Your last assay results were in October. Then the uh, basically the addition of new CEO, new chairman, new advisory board, all with extraordinary backgrounds, of course, have been announced. So obviously, we're anticipating some new drilling results. Can you tell us uh, when we should expect those as shareholders in the upcoming quarter or quarters? Can you, can you give us any hints here? 
Uh, in terms of next steps uh, for the first half of 2021, uh, the next couple of quarters at least, we're focused on advancing many fronts. Uh, the first being uh, to commence our 2500 meter drill campaign uh, to release an updated uh, project overview, certainly utilizing the Verify platform. Uh, advancing our historic resource data to 43101 compliance, that's a foundation I'm looking forward to, to establishing for our new drill results. Uh, as I already mentioned, we're optimizing our team. And of course, from that new drill program that we're about to start in February, uh, looking forward to releasing those results that uh, demonstrate resource growth potential for us commensurate with these types of deposits in our jurisdiction. Well, thank you so much for giving us some of your time today. We look forward to regular signature updates. Thank you so much, Robert. Thank you, Tracy.